So I now have created one piece. I can use this piece twice to make a simple linkage. So I'm going to go into my assembly. So the way we're going to do that is the easiest way is click on the house and double click on assemblies and go into your specific assembly. You shouldn't ever mess with other people's assemblies. You can look at them, but don't modify anything. So I'm going to start by inserting two copies of the six by one rectangle. Now, right now, I'm going to take and ground the first one. I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to right click on him and I'm going to hit fix. That means this can't move, but this guy can. And for almost all of our controls, we're going to take and use what's called the, ro the, rev the rotate constraint, the revolution constraint. Now, typically in your arms, you'd actually have two of these parallel to each other and build um, those linkages together to make a little more stable. But we're gonna, when you're building it on shape, you're just going to make one of each and just know you have to print or cut two of them. So I'm going to take and put a revolution mate on this front piece and this axle here. I'm then going to hit the checkbox to solve it. And now if I take and move this, OK, that misbehaved. I'm going to take and delete this constraint. Oh, we're going to go to home, assemblies. OK, something is very weird. I'm going to take him out of there. Let's try it again. So I'm going to click Revolve. I'm going to click this face here. And I'm also going to grab the opposite side there. That's better. I want to pick opposite faces so they stick together. I'm going to hit Check. Now, if I close that window, this should be able to rotate about that axle. So you want to make sure you pick fa uh, facing surfaces, not parallel surfaces. So now we have our single joint. Now to actually drive this, we put a pin through one of these holes and a pin through one of these holes and put our piston on either side. This might not be long enough for our actual arm, but it is one linkage piece. We could also build a triangle these by hooking three of these together and pinning them all together, and then it would all lock into be a triangle that couldn't move. So there's a lot of these sort of building block pieces.